My name is Nicole Lamar and I teach Sociology of Sexualities online. I think uh, I had two preconceptions about teaching online. The first was that all of my students would drop <laughs> and the second was that I was concerned that students would take it because they thought it would be easy. Sometimes I will have a, a large chunk of students drop, but thankfully I always have a long wait list. And so as students drop the course, uh, I'm able to replenish the numbers very quickly so that I don't think I've ever had less than 20 students in an online course. Uh, and as far as students taking the course because they think it might be easier, uh, I actually make my first module probably one of the hardest so that students know up front the, the type of time commitment. The biggest adjustment that I made in teaching online was that I actually did all of my preparation beforehand. Uh, and with online courses, I think the best thing you can do to help yourself is to have it prepared ahead of time. You know, the more you have prepared ahead of time, the easier it is to either change it uh, or address any student questions later on. The biggest benefit I've had in teaching online has actually been that I've gotten to know my students a lot better. Having an online course, even though I'm used to reading a lot of student papers, I also have journal assignments and discussions where I really encourage them to actually share their experiences and, and how they relate to the materials. You can develop such a strong sense of community in an online class, and I found that students are pretty naturally supportive of one another if, if they don't understand concepts. They'll try to explain it to one another. I think they share a lot more than they normally would in a, in a traditional course. Even if they disagree, uh, they do so in, in a really uh, you know, intellectual way. So in a way, the online class is kind of this really tight-knit, uh, safe community. It challenges us as instructors to find new and different ways to relate to our students, but also to relay the material to students in a way that maybe they would almost, I would say, better understand than in a classroom setting. I don't uh, know that I would say I was particularly tech savvy. I hadn't used Blackboard uh, very much in my courses beyond just posting readings for students. What really helped was going through the, the training for the online course development. I, I want to expand and, and make more classes because after I think I've, I've mastered this, and this is the brilliant part of online teaching, is once you have your shell, uh, you're good to teach that class again and again and again, and making any adjustments to your modules is really easy. In my online class, I've actually found ways uh, that they're not just trying to memorize material only to forget it later, but found ways that uh, students themselves actually report having these themes and um, uh, theories and concepts that they've learned that it actually follows with them later on, even after they graduate. I think uh, the most important tip I could share with anybody who's looking to develop their course online uh, and I know I've said this before, but really being prepared and putting all the work in ahead of time just makes the semester fly by. And don't forget to have fun.